In this video, I'm going to carry on from the last two videos and continue to show you how to use Git for beginners with Unity. And in this one, we're going to talk about branching and merging. So branches are very similar to how we were making commits in the previous video. But on the previous ones, if we were to use commits and roll back to a previous commit, say halfway through our project, everything past that point would be gone when we revert back to that. If we use branches instead, which is still going to use commits, it's just going to use a commit on each separate branch. That's going to allow us where we can cycle through and change to any part of our progress through our game at any point and then bounce right back to the current state. So this is how you, you could start working with multiple people on the same project at the same time, but each person can work on something different and then you merge it together or even just for yourself, being able to bounce back and forth. Or another example is say something like you're doing a course where there's structured lessons. If you have the Git project, like the Git repo for it, and it's set up with branches, as you're doing the course, you could cycle through and see exactly what the project looked like on that lesson. So those are all very common uses. Uh, in this video, we're just going to keep it very basic, but I'm going to show you some of the things I struggled with when I started learning this, as well as the settings that I had, I didn't know I needed to enable, and it, it was just a hassle, so I'm going to try to save that for you here. So I just have a simple project set up here. This is just a sample scene from the Cinti Adventure Pack, and if you're interested in that, the link's below that you can check it out on the Unity Store. But what I'm going to do is simulate building a world for a game, and in here, we're going to make a branch each time we make a new section of this world. And then I can show you how we can change back and forth between them. So I'm going to bring up source tree here. I just have the initial project creation commit here. And if you're not familiar with that, please check the two last videos. I'll have the links below. And that shows you how to get to this point. So one part you see here, which was in the previous videos, we have this branch here showing master. And that's what we've used for all of our commits so far. But what we can do is actually create a separate branch instead of master. Now, the one thing I want to show you before we do this is the settings I found that make this a lot easier. I did a lot of troubleshooting, wondering why things weren't working. And then it, these settings came out and that was it. So let's go up to tools and then options. And then go to the Git tab. And the first one you want to enable is this do not fast forward when merging, always create a commit. So what's going to happen is if this is not checked, it's not going to actually create a commit when we merge our changes together. And we want that. We need a commit there so it actually shows up in our, our branch here. So just make sure that one is checked. And then the other one you want to make sure is checked is let's go up here and click on the merge button. And if you scroll down here, we want to make sure create new commit, even if fast forward is possible, is checked. Okay, so make sure that's checked. Don't, don't click OK on this one, just cancel. Okay, and now we're ready to start with branches. So if we look on the left here, we see branches and we only see the master and it has a circle next to it. So what this circle means is that master is checked out. And all that means is master is the active branch right now. So let's... Select this one, which should be selected. And let's hit the branch button. This is going to create us a new branch. So you can give it a name. I'm going to call this one campfire because that's what I'm going to add in the scene. And then just make sure check out new branches selected and click create branch. And now what's going to happen is you're going to see campfire here with the branch icon. And then under branches here, we see campfire. And now the reason we check that box for check out new branch is now it's set campfire is the active branch. So remember the dot was on master and if you need to change them, you just double click. So if you double click master, now master is our active branch. So let's go back to campfire. And now that we have it created, what we can start doing is working on our project. So say if you were doing your game, you would start designing your campfire. I'm just going to check it here. Okay, so now we have a campfire in our scene. So say you did all this work, you save it. Let's go back to source tree. Now it's going to update. 
It only shows the change to the scene because all I did was enable it, but you would have a whole pile of things. Let's go to commit, do a commit just like we did in the other videos. So stage all. And for the title, I'm just going to put added campfire. Click on commit. Okay, and now you see here it's got the campfire branch, not master. And when you're on a branch like this, you can add as many commits as you want. So if I go back, if I just select a tree, move it a little bit, save it. So now it's going to update. Okay, so we got to make another commit. So let's go to commit. I'm just going to put move tree, commit this. Okay, and now you see, now we, we have two commits. These are both actually under campfire. So you don't really see anything here on this graph or anything yet. To do that, let's say if we created our whole campfire, we did that, we're ready to go back to the main project and we want to add the campfire to the main project. And what I mean by that is on the, the source tree git. So if we go in Unity, like we look at it here, obviously the campfire is in the main game. But when I mean adding it, I'm meaning to add it to the master branch. So I hope that's clear and not too confusing. This took me quite a while to get. So if you do struggle with it, you might have to watch this a few times. Um, I think everybody's different, but for me, I, I did struggle learning this a lot. It took me a while. So if I double click master again, now we see master is our current branch. So what we can do now that we're on master, let's right click on campfire. And you're going to see this option merge campfire into current branch. So what this is going to do is merge that branch into master. So let's select that. It's going to ask if you're sure. And notice now this create new commit, even if fast forward is possible, is checked. That's the default setting I put. So if you didn't change the default setting like I showed in options, you need to make sure you check this one. And that one is very important. So let's click OK. OK, and now we see the branch. So you see this pink and it's showing campfire is pink. So we're back on master now because it merged, but we actually see this. So currently we're not going to see any difference. And if we go back to the project, we just got to reload it and everything is the same. So nothing changed. But where we're going to start noticing is once we do more. So what I'm going to do is we're back on master. So let's select our master here at the top. We're at the very top. And remember, this is a, a hierarchy. So the top stuff is the most current. So we select our master on most current. Let's create another branch. And I'm just going to look at my scene. What else do I have to add? OK, so we have a market scene. So let's make a branch for market. So I'm going to click create branch. I'm going to call this. I'll put added market. Remember, no spaces. OK, check out new branches selected. Create branch. OK, I look here. I verify it's added market. We have it here. So now let's go start working on our market. And obviously, in this case, all I have to do is check it. And then we look. We have a big market in the scene. I save it. Go to source tree. Okay, I'm going to do a commit, put added market. Okay, and I'm not going to do a second commit. You already saw that. You can put as many as you want. So each commit that was on campfire would show with a, a pink dot here. So even in the branch, if you want, you can go back to any, any commit inside that branch. Okay, so we have our market. So again, remember, we got to go back to master. Master is selected now. Let's right click on added market, merge into current branch. Yep, box is checked. All right, and you'll notice the colors change. They don't really matter. They're just there to show you the, the different branches. So now we have added market. That one's pink, campfire turned green, and we're back onto master. So let's see, what's the other one we have here? We'll just reload it. Okay, so we have snow scene and then we have details. So I'm just going to make these quick. Okay, so selecting master again, I'm going to the top, create branch. So I'll put uh, added snow. Check out branch. Okay, so we're in there. So let's add the snow. Now if we look, we have all the snow. Saved it.
do our commit added snow all right so we got the snow so again just got to go to the master branch i'm going to right click to add snow and merge it click OK and you can use the merge icon up here too I, I just find this right click is a lot easier okay so we got that and I'm just going to do one more for the detail so I'll create branch added detail go to the unity reload it okay and added detail and that's all the world details so like trees and stuff like that saved it this is the last one and then I'll show you what we can actually do to to go back and forth here okay added detail go to the master okay and we're going to merge detail there we go okay so we have multiple branches here if we go back to our unity scene we just got to reload it because it, it did the commit and now we have all of these enabled. So think of this as a long project. This took you months to do. Everything's in here. It wasn't just enabling them like this. So now that we have all of those branches created, we can start going back and forth between them. So if we want, we could go back to say added market. So if we double click added market, notice now it's, it's the selected branch. If we go back to our game, hit reload on the scene. And one thing I wanna mention when you're doing this when you go back to different branches, you need to make sure whatever scene you were working on in that branch is the scene you have open here. So it's not gonna actually break anything if you don't, but it, it's just a, a big pain because the way Unity saves all its data for this hierarchy is, is not actually in the folder where Git saves it. So it's not gonna know any of these changes. So if you change back to a branch and the scene you currently have open doesn't exist in that branch, Unity is gonna give a bunch of errors, which is fine. You can clear them and then open the correct scene and everything. It's just gonna be a hassle and you have to clear them and, and close out of a few things. If you just open the scene first, it's gonna make everything so much easier. All you have to do is click this reload button. Okay, so we reloaded that. And now notice the snow scene is disabled. And that's what we had in there. So let's go back again. Let's go back even more. Let's go to campfire. So now if we go to the campfire, we have reload the scene. Now notice the market's gone. So the market scene disappeared. But then if we go back here and let's go back up to the, and the top master, which is the most current, look at the scene, we hit reload and now everything's back. So if you look at it here, that's only a few branches, but think if you have a big project you've been working on for months, if you have multiple people doing different things, um, or, you know, like I said, a, a tutorial series, if you already have the Git repo and say you're working on lecture 32 out of 200 and you want to see what the project was there and compare it to yours, this would allow you to be able to do that. And then same with if you have multiple people working on things, you could go and see what state it was when they were working on it at a certain point. Uh, it's very useful, very handy. I'm starting to get in the habit of doing this as much as I can, and I'm gonna start doing it with my courses and videos too. So I hope this helped you a lot. Uh, if you have any questions or things you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get to them in the future. Thanks for watching.